This is foie gras, fatty liver from force fed ducks. And this is human foie gras. Ducks get it from forced feeding. We give it to ourselves with soda, fruit juice, and healthy low fat snacks. Right now, one in three adults and one in 10 kids have it. And if it gets worse, it can lead to liver failure, even transplant. But here's the good news. It's reversible. And today I'll show you how to heal fatty liver faster than 90% of people who follow the official guidelines, naturally and for good. I am Dr. Lucia Aronica, lecturer in epigenetics and nutrigenomics at Stanford University. And in this video, we'll cover three things. First, what fatty liver really is, what causes it, and how to know if you might have it. Second, how to outsmart the official advice and why the standard approach keeps most people stuck. Third, the five delicious underrated foods I recommend to reverse fatty liver naturally, plus a bonus tip at the end that reveals one healthy food you'll want to cut out. Let's start with what fatty liver really is, what causes it, and how to know if you might already have it without even realizing it. Fatty liver disease is now the most common liver condition in the world. It used to be caused by alcohol. Today, the biggest driver is metabolic dysfunction. In other words, diet. It starts as NFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, but can silently progress to NASH, which means your liver isn't just storing fat, it's inflamed. That inflammation can lead to cirrhosis, where healthy liver tissue is replaced with scar tissue, liver failure, and even cancer. And it's not just about your liver. Here's what fatty liver really looks like. Fat doesn't just sit in the liver, it spreads around other organs too. This is visceral fat, and it's far more dangerous than the subcutaneous fat we see in the mirror. It builds up around your liver, your heart, your kidneys, your pancreas, increasing the risk of stroke, kidney disease, cancer, and more. And worst of all, most people have no symptoms until the damage is done. So how do you know if this is happening to you? Get check if you are overweight, you carry most of your weight in the belly, apple-shaped, not pear-shaped. You are pre-diabetic or diabetic. How it is diagnosed? Doctors use a combo of blood test, imaging, and sometimes a liver biopsy. But here's the catch. Even if your liver enzymes like ALT and AST are normal, you could still have fatty liver. That's why so many people go undiagnosed. Now let's talk about the cause. If this is a diet-driven disease, which foods are to blame? You have heard it before. Sugar is bad. But the biggest offender isn't dessert. It's liquid sugar, soda, sport drinks, and fruit juices. Yes, even homemade juice. A study in JAMA showed that when teens cut all sugary drinks, including juice, they saw a 7% drop in liver fat in just eight weeks. That's why sugar is so damaging. Number one, your liver converts excess sugar into fat, a process called de novo lipogenesis. Number two, sugar spikes insulin. Insulin is the hormone that helps your cells absorb sugar from your blood. But when it stays high too often, 
your cells stop responding. That's called insulin resistance. When insulin resistance sets in, your fat cells start leaking fatty acids into the bloodstream and those fats get taken up by the liver and stored. Number three, most added sugar contains fructose, which unlike glucose is metabolized primarily in the liver, where much of it is converted into fat. It also creates uric acid, which can trigger gout. Often blamed on meat, but fructose is the biggest offender. Worse, fructose is addictive. It overstimulates the brain's reward center, the nucleus accumbens, driving craving more than sugary foods. And it doesn't stimulate leptin, your satiety hormone, the same way glucose does. So your brain never gets the message that you are full. And just to show you how quickly this can spiral, a study found that just seven days on a high fructose diet increased liver fat and reduced insulin sensitivity. Now that you understand how fatty liver works, let's talk about how to fix it faster than the stardom advice, and most importantly, for good. First, you can't heal if you don't remove what's hurting you. Start by removing these liver saboteurs. Let's begin with the obvious ones, the ones the guidelines already acknowledge. Alcohol. It promotes liver fat buildup and blocks your liver's ability to break it down and export. Added sugar, especially in liquid form like soda and yes, even natural fruit juice. But sugar hides in plain sight. It goes by more than 70 different names. So read the labels. You'll find it packed into healthy foods like flavored yogurts, dairy and plant-based, granola bars, breakfast cereals, flavored instant oats. These products are marketed as low fat or high protein, but many are really liver bombs in disguise. Just one flavored yogurt can pack 14 grams of added sugar per serving. The guidelines say to limit added sugar to 35 grams a day, but if you are trying to reverse fatty liver fast, check your labels and aim for zero. Now, here's where we go beyond the guidelines. Take a screenshot of this diagram. Stick it on your fridge. This shows how different macronutrients affect insulin, one of the key hormones behind fatty liver. Carbs spike insulin the most. Protein has a modest effect, especially if you keep carbs low. Fat has very little effect. This simple truth explains why just cutting added sugar isn't enough, even if the guidelines say it is. Because it's not just sugar that spikes insulin, it's all high carb foods. And when insulin stays high, your liver stays in fat storage mode. Here are the main ones to watch. High sugar fruit, like tropical fruit, bananas, mangoes, pineapple, or dried fruit, like raisins and dates. Starchy foods, like potatoes and root vegetables. Grains, beans and oatmeal. Yes, fruit and whole grains are healthy for some people. Your ultra fit active friend with six pack abs might thrive on them, but we are not talking about him. We are talking about the guy with a fatty liver and a sluggish metabolism. For him, even normal amounts of so-called healthy carbs can be converted into liver fat up to three times faster, according to recent studies. 
no surprise that carbohydrate restriction is more effective than calorie restriction for reversing fatty liver. In one study, participants on a standard calorie-restricted diet lost about 4 kilograms and reduced their liver fat by 28% in just two weeks. Impressive. But a second group eating a strict low-carb diet without cutting calories also lost about 4 kilos, yet slashed their liver fat by 55%. Same weight loss, double the result. That's why the foods I'm about to share focus on carb quality, not just calorie quantity. It works faster, it feels better, and most importantly, it's sustainable. Because you're not starving yourself, you are reprogramming your metabolism with food you'll actually enjoy. Ready to get practical? Here are the five food categories I recommend most, plus a bonus tip at the end to answer one of your most asked questions and reveal a healthy food that might be holding you back. Number one, protein especially at breakfast. Start your day with protein, at least 30 grams per meal if you can. Why? Studies show that protein at breakfast reduces cravings later in the day, especially for sugar and processed carbs. That's a game changer for fatty liver. In one small study, participants added just 60 grams about two scoops of whey protein per day, no other diet changes, and reduced liver fat by over 20% in four weeks. But here's my advice. Whole food protein is even better. It's more filling, more delicious, and easier to turn into a lasting habit. All protein is good. Meat, fish, tofu, tempeh, but my favorites, eggs and salmon. Here's why. They are rich in choline, an essential nutrient your liver uses to package and export fat. When scientists removed choline from the diet in human studies, participants developed fatty liver within weeks. That's how we learned choline isn't optional. It's essential. Over 90% of people still don't get enough. And if you are plant-based, it's even harder. For both omnivores and vegans, I break down simple protocols in my call-in video. Link below. Number two, non-starchy veggies. The ones that grow above ground, like zucchini, eggplants, and tomatoes. They are low in carbs, just 5 to 10 grams per 100 gram, high in fiber, and rich in what I call epinutrients. Epinutrients are nutrients that work through epigenetics, helping turn on genes that support detoxification and control inflammation, a key driver in fatty liver disease. Here are my top three picks. Leafy greens spinach, kale, romaine, rich in folate, an epinutrient that supports detoxification and helps your body produce glutathione, your master antioxidant. One study showed that replacing just one portion of starchy carbs for leafy greens helped reverse need to advance nephil D in just three months. Cruciferous veggies, Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and arugula, rich in sulforaphane, an epinutrient that activates your body's antioxidant defense system and dials down inflammation. In a randomized placebo-controlled trial, a broccoli sprout extract improved liver markers in men with fatty liver in just four weeks. Beets, rich in betaine, a key epinutrient that supports methylation, which is critical for detoxification. 
Since your body makes betaine from choline, when your betaine intake is high, your body can use more choline to transport fat out of your liver. In a, a case control study, people with high choline and betaine intake had a 81% lower risk of building up visceral fat and develop liver disease. Number three, spices that support your metabolism. These aren't just flavor enhancers. They are gene modulators. Turmeric, garlic, and ginger contain epinutrients that lower blood sugar, improve insulin sensitivity, stimulate insulin secretion. In trials, these spices or their extracts improved insulin markers, liver enzymes, and waist circumference in people with fatty liver. Try to include at least one of these spices daily, not just for flavor, but as daily epigenetic therapy. Number four, the best fat for your liver. Extra virgin olive oil isn't just heart healthy, it's liver smart. Its key epinutrient Hydroxytyrosol dials down inflammatory gene expression and helps improve liver fat metabolism. One study found that four weeks on an olive oil-rich Mediterranean diet reduced liver fat by 40% compared to only 7% on a low-fat diet. Choose extra virgin olive oil in a dark bottle and keep it away from heat and light because those fragile epinutrients degrade easily. Number five, what to drink. Coffee and green tea contain epinutrients that improve fat metabolism and reduce inflammation. Flavonoid in coffee and catechins in green tea. Drinking two to three cups of coffee a day, but don't add sugar, is linked to reduce liver fat and fibrosis. Green tea extract, 500 mg a day, has lowered liver enzymes in clinical trials. Pro tip, even decaf versions carry many of these benefits, especially with coffee. And here's my bonus tip. What about sweeteners? You ask me this all the time. Here's my take. Warning, it might be unpopular. If you really need it in your coffee or tea, a little stevia, monk fruit, or allulose is fine. But avoid baking or buying keto desserts. Even if they are sugar-free, they are still low in nutrients, high in calories, and train your brain to crave sweetness. If you are serious about healing your liver and your metabolism, consider this. The ultimate freedom isn't swapping sugar for a better sweetener. It's breaking the habit altogether. Because when you stay off sweet things long enough, your taste buds recalibrate. Even fruit starts to taste overwhelmingly sweet. That's what happened to me after quitting sugar. 20 years ago. You break the addiction loop and rediscover the rich, satisfying flavors of savory, bitter, and umami foods. Does that sound like restriction? Maybe, but it's really the opposite. As an Italian, I believe health should thrive on joy, not deprivation. And when you rediscover the deep pleasure of real food, healthy choices become as natural as breathing. Now you know how to reverse fatty liver fast in a way you actually enjoy and sustain. But some of these foods need kitchen science tricks to unlock their full potential. You can find those in my free guide, link in the description. And if you liked this video, you'll love this one. Ciao!